watching The Advocate on Plus TV Africa, time to get real. I admire those who spend time to research and share their thoughts and findings with us. Recently at a talk under the aegis of 9H Design Talk, which I run, Chi Iro Mwanya, a doctor architect, spoke about our housing deficit and how to raise money to deal with it. It was thorough. It was peer-reviewed by reserve bank heads in the US, by professors of economics there, by a past governor of the Nigerian Central Bank and some other top financial analysts. As he spoke, we were spellbound. Summary, at $59 per barrel, Nigeria borrows four times its tied fund from the African Development Bank in what is known as the African Development Fund Partial Credit Guarantees. That comes to about $524 billion. This provides for 13.75 million low income, 3 million medium income, and 250,000 high income housing. After nine years, the process releases 28 billion every year for 30 years. There will be $56 billion to spend on rail, road, electricity, and such infrastructure. There's only one reason I will not bother to seek audience with government for the brilliant work of Iro Mwanya. They will not hear him out or carry out his suggestions. They will probably steal his work, alter it, and avoid paying for his time and effort. There are many who struggle to research brilliant ideas in their respective fields for the betterment of Nigeria. They go unheralded. What Nigerians prefer to do is to pray for that elusive success. The real solutions come from those like Iro Mwanya. They pray and they work. We need more people like Chi Iro Mwanya. We celebrate a few dazzling performers, but really not getting to the level of genuine ideas. I suspect the Minister of Housing should be thinking of seeing me. I'll introduce him to Iro Mwanya. I was there. I was there at Indeed, that time. Um, yes. And I was yes. inspired, like yes. you said, yes. rightly said. Um, yes. You know, because I, I sat there, and what was impressive about his presentation is that he gave you figures. Uh, why we pray? Don't let these numbers confuse you. He says it's 8 million person year jobs. It means there will be 68 million jobs if each of those jobs lasted only a year. But because jobs don't last a year, it equals to about 10 million full time jobs for a seven year construction period. Yeah. He gave you a breakdown. He told you where the money. He says he's done this before because yes. he does project management. That's right. So he gave it to you for you know the year. He told you where the money will come from. He told you how you will apply the money. Yes. And he made it look like this isn't rocket science. Correct. And it was almost like you know how they say here you're doing me long throats. We could almost see it. You know yes, you could almost could touch the, it. I could see the you know, houses coming yeah, out. Yeah, you could see how everybody would be benefited, including million. even the greedy oh, people would yes. be benefited. Even the greedy. Exactly. Yeah, because there was enough to make you know. And and you actually have to believe him because the reason, despite the fact that we have so much going on here, whether to do with security, whether to do with our uh, corruption, or and yet people keep coming, like Simeons, trying to do deals with us. It tells me that there's still, uh, yeah, there's still so much. Yeah. You know, I think someone like uh, David Cameron said that, you know, if the way, if, if the UK lost money the way Nigeria lost money, that it would have wound up by now. So somehow, you know, so, but on the other side, I sort of, I, you talked about people praying. I feel sorry, because I was driving in today and I could mm. see people along the way, and I, I kept trying to put myself in their mind and say, what, what keeps people going in an environment like this? There's a man sitting on the road yeah. with his belongings around, yeah, him. around him. What, what hope does he have? You know, when you're so overwhelmed yeah. with how awful and how, you know, um, dysfunctional a nation is, yeah. what, brain is the only thing, you know, you're almost yeah. like, you've, yeah. Been, yeah. you've been brought to your knees in yeah. terms of... No, once hope. you're brought to your knees, you might as well... So, but, but, but then I then say to myself, and yeah. because my sister sent me something recently on the, the... They were celebrating, is it Lee Kwan, the guy yeah. from Singapore, yeah. okay. who just by sheer will <laughs> saw it as a destiny that he was going to lift his people out of poverty, he was going to invest his life. It just takes one person who is ready to go the distance, because, you know, why are we playing games? Why is it that, you know, so much is at stake, people's lives are just being wasted on a daily basis. When I see it, I I felt really sad when I was just driving into work, just looking at the people along the roadside. Mm -hmm. I felt really sad. Why would I see people in this condition and not feel that it's a calling, it's a mission to get this country back on its feet? Right, yes. You know, we, we, there's so much at stake. So when I look at someone like Lee Kuan Yen in, in Singapore, it tells me that his country had, didn't even have the raw materials we have. Yeah. He didn't have, you know, the human capacity we have. We have. You're going to say something. And yet he had the will, he had the vision to lift them out of poverty. You know, it's... Um Again, discussions such as this, mm -hmm. I sometimes I just, I have to like, 
Inhale. Breathe in. <laughs> and exhale. Because <laughs> when you um, start, you know, look, I, I, I perhaps I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm an eternal optimist. Okay, but good. But these days, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm losing bit by bit yeah. that that uh, that energy of yeah. optimism that I seem to I love and I have mm. because I found I've I've had the short end of the stick, and I found by my own bitter experience that um, Nigeria officialdom, if I can use that expression, detests great ideas. Great ideas. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm. Because great ideas require sacrifice, right? And great ideas require hard work right. to implement. Right. Um, it might. It sounds easy how the good the doc Dr. Uh, Romaya oh. has, has described it. Yeah. It sounds very easy, but there's a lot of paperwork to be done. Yeah. There's a lot of stakeholder involvement. It, it, it has yeah. to pass through many people. If you could only yeah. move them out. Yes. <laughs> and and each one of these people um, within the system will want their cuts. Will want a piece Absolutely. of this. And if they cannot, I've seen instances where somebody was going to give Nigeria a ton of money for sports development just because the person at the top said, I want this. And the person said, well, we, can't, well, we don't do that. And, and he says, well, then, then, take, the then take that yeah. thing and go. Yes. I've yeah. seen so many yeah. things like that. Yeah. So, I mean, but yes, I do believe that you require this sacrificial leadership, this person, yeah. that, visionary, that, this visionary, this person that says, look, um, Mine is not even about second term. It's yes. just I've got four years, four years yeah. and I'm willing to, to lay the foundation. Make, lay the foundation. Mm -hmm. Let somebody else come. But if I do well in these four years, and they give me, and yes. they give me let, another let four years. Let me even talk about something you know, you know so something about. I, I, Sorry, it's just it's painful to listen because I've been yeah. in rooms where you hear such brilliant yeah. ideas, you see it, and not just in housing but in technology. Okay. And look, it's almost as if government. Is a problem that if you get government out of the way, and you I talked about yeah. it sometimes, well, the then the people will, will progress. That, that, that was you know, what I was going to say it's, that it's scary. <laughs> yes. that are we wired to fail? Oh, I can't. Right? I can't the accept system, that. The, the <laughs> system of government, mm. you know, makes it very difficult. You have brilliant ideas, mm -hmm. but imagine the number of stakeholders you have to convince. You know, to get and they've made it a culture that yeah, they must you know, have culture, their cuts. So in the end, you find you know, you lose steam. Ideas just yeah, fizzling you lose out like that, and the and the losers eventually is. Yeah, everybody. everybody yeah. Yeah. But I was going to say, yeah, I have huge housing deficits still. Yeah. Brilliant yeah. ideas, yeah. ideas yeah. like this. Yeah. Funds are there, but yeah. we can't roll we them can't roll, out. Yeah. Huge problem. I overheard a conversation. Uh, someone saying just recently about you know how is it ITV you know yeah. could have been there given DSTV a run yeah. for their money because you know, whereas maybe um, I think it's Star Times other other yeah. big the, the government steps in yeah. a bit like our airline our aviation yeah. system to prop them up they let them fail you know and, and if they had stepped in maybe we would have had an e um, a competition for DSTV I, I don't, you don't, I don't even want, want to say I don't anything. want to say anything <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, also not, I'm also not involved in all of this because uh, uh, a gentleman but you who agree ran with that a close friend of mine yeah, yeah I, you know this is what I believe you know, despite the failings of the, the company itself, I think that sometimes government needs to support businesses. Look, when I was head of um, the FEMA Video Census Board in the, in the mid-2000s, uh, mid um, we did a raid and closed down a certain South African-owned business. Not South African government-owned, but just because the company yeah. came from South Africa. And I remember being in the hospital. My wife was ill. She was going, we were going into surgery, and my phone rang. And it was somebody from the cabinet office of the presidency in, I say, calling to say they're trying to reach my Mr. Mba and I should hold on for a certain powerful gentleman <laughs> in, 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 of that country, of South Africa. And I'm like, who? And evidently, eventually I picked up the, the, the call and I remember telling the, 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 the honorable gentleman on the other side that I'm sorry, I cannot take this call. I'm not allowed to take a call from such a high office to my person, mm -hmm. and I don't know you, it's not personal. Mm -hmm. You have to call my minister. Go through the channel. Um, go to, and I'm sorry, sir, I can't take the call. But it just, I want you to understand how far they had to go in order to seek for the interest of the company, small, okay. tiny company. Right. They were trying to boycott the, the minister. Because not just, no, you know, the, you know the, the, eventually they couldn't reach him. They felt that because uh, the minister had said to somebody who was close to them, you have to go to the this DG, person, this yeah. person, because he, he's in charge. Whatever he says, I will do. You know, and then they felt the first thing was to, to reach out come to reach you, out to me. To and, you, yes. you know. so, but my point is, they went to that length. 
shows how important it is. It shows is how to important them. it is okay. to protect their own businesses. Yeah, own business. yes. Even though it's not a government, even though it's not a government, uh, no government business. Yeah. yeah. So yes, government has to step in, play. and as a government that sees and they have this enlightened self-interest of of their businesses, you see, you go to some of our embassies as we talked about. It's not even on, yeah. a, on even on an individual basis. You yeah. go to. I remember seeing Ghana or a place you say you're a Nigerian business, they'll say, my friend, will you leave this place? What, go on, are you, did we bring you here? Yeah, did we send yeah, you here? Yeah, exactly, exactly, yes. Do yeah. you get that? So yeah. there's a sentiment <laughs> where it's almost as if you're in competition with yourself yeah. or that you don't want them to succeed. You say, well, I, you know, okay, if you can, if not do well, go back to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. How do you say that to your businesses, mm -hmm. small businesses that are trying to survive We're in Ghana? We're not operating as a team. Yeah. 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 So that is a problem. Yeah. So it comes down to this thing where you're saying, we, we're not a country of bright ideas. We detest, I, I, look, yeah. I, this may sound controversial given my own experience in government, but yeah. I, I also say because given my own experience, we exactly. detest bright ideas. Oh boy. I, 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 I'm, 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 you, can, yeah. you can quote me any day. Yeah. We haven't had a bright we, idea. We detest that we've actually bright gone ideas. We, we and see it's not innovation. because they aren't Oh yeah, exactly. of course. What are we're we talking so about? So what do we do, we, Chuka? The ball is in your what court. What do we do? <laughs> what do we do? We need to get <laughs> political leaders who love people with bright ideas. And I'm sure they're there, but and they're so you swamped find by. That, yeah, you okay. find that islands, the islands of bright people with bright ideas. You saw um, um, the man across the first governor there, Liel, I mean, um, before Donald Leo, Duke. Donald Duke, yeah. bright ideas, he had people, and he brought people from all over. And he attracted As much stuff. as you might, the, the, some people do not like the politics of Erufai, he's a man who likes bright ideas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll give that to him. Mm -hmm. um, and you, you, you see that in pockets, but we need to connect. Like this. Yes. Yes. Uh, you know, so it I think we need like more of such people. Because because politics, politics, uh, no, not yet. as I said, <laughs> too early. It's still too early. Politics will trump law anytime, any day. Yeah. So you need okay. people who wield political office who love bright And they can see that it's a win-win exactly. for all of us, yeah. long, long distance. Yeah. So that's why all of us need to invest in, in getting politics the right and getting the right people in, 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 in offices. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, unless we deal with authentic solutions, we'll never get at the heart of the matter. Here's what you get real with us as concerns our advocacy. On my topic concerning psychophancy in the civil service, Stephen Kranz says, Nigeria, which way forward? Nigeria, reset, reset your brain to normal. Still on the same topic, Nina Briggs says, mommy, oyoyo, oh, absolute classic. On making Nigeria work for us, Obi says, Ucho Koli, you are spot on. I even find that when you do complain, other customers around you look at you as if you are being difficult and that you should just accept whatever you are dished out. This is a serious systemic problem, Uche. Well, keep your comments coming in. On our social media platforms, on Facebook, plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram, at plus TV Africa, The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash the advocate and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel plus tv africa thank you for squaring up with us we value your comments after the break a makes a direct demand on a heated issue <laughs>